Hello, J-O-R-W. This video is in response to your topic you had started on the Yo-Yo Games forum. You had some PNG files, and you wanted the transparency to be smooth, just like the PNG file is supposed to be. Not uh, one color transparency like Game Maker uses. So, in this video, I will show you how to do this. To do this, you need Photoshop. If you don't have it, then you can use GIMP, which is a free software you can get somewhere. Just do a Google search for it. You can find it. Okay, so you should have your PNG image. You can open it, but I'm just going to create one right here because I don't have any. And just to show you, you're going to have a brush with uh, zero hardness and have a transparency behind it all. Now the background is transparent. Uh, okay. And this is just to show you how you can do transparencies. So I have this image here. It is a gray blob with smooth edges. If you have a background layer, you can see that it will have a very smooth transition to it. Actually, you know what? I'm making this uh, red or something. Something more visible. Okay, so you have your image. You can uh, save your PNG image into your game folder. In this case, I made a folder just for you, JOR example. PNG. And I'm just naming this Red Blob. The way that sprites with transparencies work in Game Maker is that you have the image file, which I'll load now. Somewhere. And a transparency alpha mask. And the mask basically tells Game Maker which part should be visible, which part should be invisible, what part should be in between, and to what level. And as you can see when I open this in Game Maker, it looks rather crappy because Game Maker handles it that way. So when you load your image into Game Maker, you want transparent to be off. Just in case uh like that is red, for example, the corner. And press OK and save it. Go back into Photoshop and do with uh the layer selected, your current layer with the image. Do select, load selection, and it should work. Just press OK. OK. I don't know what I'm doing. OK. So, you did load selection. Now create a new layer. Two new layers, actually. One top of the other. The first layer, make it completely black. Actually, just delete that selection for now. So make the top layer completely black, leave no spaces, and make the next layer completely white, leave no spaces. Now go back to your layer with the uh, image and hit your PNG. Do select, load selection, good. And go to your black layer and delete using the erase tool. And now you have this uh, semi-black-white image. Save it. You can save it as a PNG or bitmap or PNG. I'd do it as a PNG. And when you save it, you want to do 
red blob or whatever you call it but put an A in front of it or after it this way you know it's uh, alpha so then you load it a blob for alpha blob and load it set transparent to off create a new script called PNG and PNG is fine for every sprite you have um, you want to set the transparency of the original sprite using the um, alpha and to do that there is a function sprite set alpha from sprite and then you have the sprite and then the alpha and there's that you can load your image into the game and in the creation code of the first room call that PNG script or make sure that PNG script is uh, called somewhere preferably at the beginning and let's see how it looks hopefully I did it correctly huh yeah check that out so now you have your image and it's transparent and smooth and works well if we were to layer these you would notice that they blend very nicely and correctly okay I hope this has helped you understand how to do PNG transparencies in GameMaker and if you have any questions about anything about this tutorial about GameMaker or anything related to game development coding whatever just uh, shoot me an email uh, my email will be in the description to the upper right corner of the YouTube screen. But if not, it is ben64 at snet.net, but I'll send it to you anyways. Alright, so, uh, see ya.